coconut game. Hi there my friends, hope everyone's well. Um, well I'm going to be taking a wee break from the miniatures for a week or two um, so I've got a new project I'm going to be going on with. I've been sent a couple of things for me to review um, and I'm going to be showing you them now. We have from Rubicon the SDKFZ Opal Blitz truck. We have some storage to go with the truck and I've also got an M5 A1 Stuart light tank. So this video, I've actually already uploaded it and I've now about to hit the delete button once I'm finished with this one because I've had a brainwave. Initially, this I was going to paint in Pacific front colours. Um, not specific, but Pacific front colours. And this one I was going to put up for a vote to see how you wanted me to paint it. Did you want me to paint it in German colours or would you like me to paint it in the captured Soviet colours um, like I did with the half track and I was open to doing either um, and say I was going to have a vote on that. However, I've been doing a little bit of research on Lend Lease um, during World War II and the Soviets had some of these as well. They had five of them, a total of five. They had nearly 1700 M3 A1 light tanks, but only five of these. So, plans is do this up as a Lend Lease Soviet tank and do this as another piece of captured German armour used by the Soviets. Thinking is, let's get a little force built up um, on the Soviet side with Lend Lease and captured vehicles. Um, if you like that idea. Um, let me know. Um, if you think the idea's crap, also let me know. Um, but the minute it's inspired me to go that way, but I'll leave this video up for a couple of days and get your thoughts on it and you can tell me what you think. Um, meanwhile, I'll get some unboxings done of both. Um, after the unboxing videos are up, we'll see the consensus. If everybody thinks it's a crap idea, um, then I might go back to do the Pacific one. Might not, I might just ignore you anyway, so. Um, so tell me what you think and we'll give it a go. But looking forward to doing them anyway, however which way I do them. As I say, Pacific Front really was inspiring me initially to do this um, in the Pacific Front colours. But then something thought, oh, we Soviet force completely, let's look up, see if any of these were used by the Russians. And the research I've managed to find, five M5s actually made it into Russia and were used uh, by them and it was 1696 I think was the figure, so just under 1700 anyway M3A1s, so I'm sure I could probably find a couple of photos somewhere of the M3s to see how the Soviets painted them up and then used that as the scheme to take it forward for the M5s. So. We'll get some unboxings of these done um, and they'll appear over the next couple of days as well. So thanks for watching. As I say, taking a wee wait for the minis and we're going to do some more armour. Thoroughly enjoyed the wee half track I done. If you've not saw the half track, I'll put a link somewhere. Here, there, there. I don't know. There'll be a link. There-ish, maybe. But maybe not, maybe here. There'll be a link. Take care.